Well, no early today to excel. What's, what's going on, Jilly? Good morning, I'm still in my bathroom. So it's early morning. I don't know. It doesn't look good. Mike went to make um, Ryan's lunch this morning because you know I'm like it. Oh. And then it doesn't look good. Do you think we might have Looks like an earthquake it? happened. You think? What are we gonna do with this? I'm not sure. You know, this is the problem. We have these shelves here, and you know, like you have like the holes drilled on the either side, and then you put the little peg things in. Mm -hmm. Well, both those shelves I think we're balancing on two pegs, like one in each diagonal corner. I don't know why I even think to go get more pegs. It's been like that for years now. So I think there's a very simple fix. Mm -hmm. I think we go get two more pegs, and we make four pegs for each shelf, mm -hmm. and we're done. Is that our project du jour? It might be, but I think we can accomplish even more than that today, Michael. Well, let's see how we can do with that. That's yeah. really, really bad. We can fix that. Okay. <laughs> hey, and I heard our, our closet stuff is coming. Is that it true? It is. It is. It is. It is. Oh, my gosh. Our home renovation continues with... Um, I was thinking I was going to do this next because our kitchen is almost done. I was thinking I was going to do our dining room um, built-ins and everything next because we ordered our modular closet and it hasn't, it was going to be um, like four to six weeks before I came in. But I just got an email yesterday, it's on its way. So I'm thinking we're going to switch gears and go upstairs and do our closet. So stay tuned. This is so exciting. It's, um, hey, what do you see the... Oh, the disaster. You think that's a disaster? <laughs> Oh, you've seen nothing until you've seen our closet. So I'm very very excited about doing this project. Hopefully it'll come in the next couple days we do it this weekend. Awesome. That'd be awesome. All right. All right, stay tuned. So Ryan's getting ready for school. It's gonna be a great day, Jilly. It is gonna be a great day, despite the morning. Oh, well, well, maybe. <laughs> so guys, so, um, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's been like this, like, little outbreak going around. Wait, I, tell I, them why you're in the car first. Oh yeah, we're going no dots from it. <laughs> it has nothing to do with what we're about to do. No, no. <laughs> Oh, Just a checkup. Yeah, um, um, mom picked you up early from school, go to the doctor's appointment, and then gonna head back. But um, there's been this little like sickness going around. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, and coronavirus, coronavirus it, and it's wreaked havoc on our life, basically. Yeah, basically. Well, so, let me wait. Let me step back. <laughs> it hasn't wreaked as much havoc on our life as it yeah, has as others. Yeah, so no, no, that's true. So, true. A shout out and yeah. sympathies and empathies go out to all those people. Who it's wreaked very much have a gun. Uh -huh. um, um, wash your hands. Wash your show. hands. Sing happy birthday twice. <laughs> so anyway, we had vacation scheduled this summer. So I'm yeah, sure so you guys have had to change your things. This is just one thing that have changed. <laughs> been a so while. first of all, Dad was going to go to Italy, and I was super excited for him to go, and he was going to see where his parents grew up and everything. It was going to be super fun. He was going to go with his whole family, see like where his, his grandparents, sisters, grew grandparents grew up. Um, because they are really, like, authentic, like, from Italy, like, not too long ago. So, um, they were going to go, but it unfortunately got canceled. I'm sorry to all those in Italy, by the way. It's probably, I'm, I'm not an expert, but I think it's, like, the second most affected country. That's what I heard. China, obviously. Last night. Yeah. Um, but then it's, it's, it made March Madness and, and the NBA play without any fans. Um, at our school, March Madness, because we have a school thing where we sign up for a tournament, and I'm, like, playing. All right, so, so I have a car right there. Dad called. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's, it's, we have a so, school-wide basketball tournament, yeah. and we're not going to have any fans there, I don't think. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh, I forgot about that. You're doing the March Madness. Mm -hmm. And they're closing school. MIT got, like, closed, and everyone's online now. Yeah. Um, a lot did of people you, did you hear? my school's online. Do you hear that at our school, this is what just last night, like everything came down last night. It was crazy. Yeah, okay. Last night, they said we're, all the spring sports are still going to happen, but with no fans, no spectators. So like even Katie, outdoor track, it's outdoor, but we can't go watch her. Mm -hmm. And what really is annoying, the Masters is going to be playing with no fans. Is Ma that true? Yeah, the Masters is in April, which is a golf, it's the biggest golf tournament in golf. Um, <laughs> anyway... Yeah, it's 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 crazy. Um, and the president said like we're not gonna no travel with Europe or anything, which is crazy. Um, anyway, the biggest thing that we really wanted to talk about was our cruise. So uh, usually we kind of surprise you guys with what our vacation is until the last moment, but 
I think we already told you we were gonna go on a cruise. I don't think we did tell oh, them. Oh, we didn't? Okay, no. So our, our summer vacation was gonna be a cruise. Um, and you know, we love cruising, so it's not a huge surprise, but um, and it was a big deal this summer because but it was a big deal this summer because we normally don't go, A, we don't go on cruises in the summer, but yeah, whatever. But it's big, we have big birthdays that we're celebrating for lots of members of our family, mm -hmm. we have anniversaries. Um, it's, it was kind of a big deal. Our whole family finally got together and booked a cruise, and which was harder than you, you can imagine because <laughs> our family is huge, yes. Um, and then we we can't because if you've seen like some people got stuck on a cruise ship for like weeks and uh, so we we had to cancel people we started getting go. nervous my you know my parents got nervous mm -hmm. my brother got nervous they're like well, why take the risk so mm -hmm. we had to cancel the cruise we just did it a couple of days ago and um it's a bummer yeah it is a bummer it's um a bummer. but i mean i know there's bigger there are definitely bigger issues out there. Oh, but yeah, I mean, I think, sure. well, I guess my point is everybody is affected by mm -hmm. coronavirus, whether you have it or not. Like the economy, the, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I feel bad Travel. for, I feel bad for, yes. Like the airlines and the cruise industries mm -hmm. and, and everything. Like just, everything dad, stops a client just canceled on dad this morning. I mean, like, whoa. Crazy. Yeah. So yeah. it's, um, it's yeah, time. it's crazy. So we hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, we hope that you're healthy. Second of all, we hope that your um, your financial life, you know, your job, all that stuff hasn't mm -hmm. been affected. Um, I know we're gonna get through this, right? Yeah. Dad's Dad's prediction is by Memorial Day, it'll be either on yeah, the decline or pretty much the Memorial Day is when <laughs> the end of May. So wow. anyway, we're not the experts on what to do, but just what we've heard, yeah, right? You wash your hands. Right. Don't um, don't touch. If it can, things. if it can, if this video can make one person wash their hands one more time, then high five. Anyway, um, oh yeah, right. No <laughs> fist bump. But, oh yeah, sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, all right, right, we're going to the doctor. We'll see what yep, they say. Yeah, we're going to the doctor. Okay, okay. bye. Yeah. All right, Ryan. Hi, right. wait. And weight on uh, five foot, ninety five or ninety five, ninety six pounds. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. You are so, one and a half inches until you beat me, mm -hmm. or until you match me. Until you match. All right. Yes, I bet that'll happen by the end of the summer. A hundred percent. Yes. So I believe I, so. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> and you can look down on me. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm still in charge though. Yep. Okay. Just so you know. Let's yep. make that clear. Yep. Even when I'm seven foot five. Exactly. Even then you can put your like hand on top of my head. <laughs> yep. I'm still in charge. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so is the doctor's office. Yeah, here we are. Well, All right. Let's see what doctor says. Make sure you're all good. Oh, yeah. Okay, bye. asking about coronavirus? Maybe. Yeah, see what he says. Yeah. All right, All right ladies and gentlemen. Back to us in the car. Um, <laughs> we went in. Actually, the first thing he said was, "Do you have any questions about like coronavirus?" So they're like, "Well, he said, is, do you have we taken any precautions like in our school yet?" And no, our principal really hasn't said anything. They just said, "Wash your hands, basically." Um, <laughs> um, show your beard. Anyway. Oh yeah, look at this. You got a shot. You don't think I'm tough? Look at this space man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so for all the future doctors out there that are gonna give me shots, by the way, um, also like Incredibles, <laughs> Cars, Batman, Batman, Spider Man, uh -huh. any kind of tattoo, really. Um, anyway. Not tattoo, Bandit. Bandit, I keep calling really it a tattoo. tattoo. Anyway, uh, right. I got a shot too, which is pretty sick. Um, and I'm not afraid of shots, which is good, because I, I like that about myself, because. I don't want to be afraid of shots because I know I'm going to have to get them. Your dad, um, on the other hand. Oh, yeah. And the, the, the shots and the dentist. Oh, yeah. Dad doesn't like very much. Dad is he's very scared of But you're not scared of the dentist. No. Yeah. My, you know, you don't know what my fears are? What? Absolutely nothing. Spiders. No, I'm kidding. Yes. Oh. Um, so, <laughs> spiders, going to jail, mm. and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> okay. So what if you were in a jail cell and there were spiders? Oh, oh okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, alright. All right. Um, yeah, anyway. See you. Take it back to school. Bye. Hey, Brandon, come here. Yep. Please.
I just got an email. Yes. It says, can I read it to you? Yeah. Congratulations, dear Brendan Donnelly. It is our pleasure to inform you that you have been selected to participate in the 2020 Naval Academy Summer Seminar. Once again, we would like to congratulate you on behalf of the United States Naval Academy. We look forward to seeing you here this summer. You've proud been assigned you. to session three. That's even the one you wanted to be in. Proud of you. Very, very proud of proud you. Proud of you. I'll read this to the rest of you guys so you know what this is. Attendance at the summer seminar is a great opportunity for you to experience what the Naval Academy has to offer. It's a program focused on academics, physical training, and leadership. This is an outstanding experience that will allow you to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with midshipman leaders about what it is like to attend the Naval Academy. Not everybody gets in either. No, you have to apply for that. I remember when Brendan applied a few uh, a few months ago. Congratulations. He's, He's very proud of grades. you. That's still one of the ways he got in, you know? He does have killer grades. We're very proud of great. you. A lot of hard work. Nice work. Oh, awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, if it doesn't get canceled. I know. <laughs> I know. Because well, Brennan was invited June, to... right? It's in June. And Brennan was invited to junior day for the water polo team at the Naval Academy, which is like where all they invite all the recruits in to play polo and see how they do and, and to get to know the Naval Academy. And that was literally just canceled seconds ago because mm, of coronavirus. And that is in April. This is in June. So hopefully... This will stick. This is June 13 to 18. Shout out to COVID-19. If you could please just go away and leave us all alone. <laughs> be awesome. I mean, you know, you have a right to be here, but we'd like you to leave. Bye. No, really no you don't really have a right. Yes, yeah, good job, Brennan. Thank you. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, they just announced. Oh, you guys, this thing is moving as rapidly as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's pretty excited. <laughs> they just announced all schools in our state are closed from March 16th. But we're still not going to have to wake up at 6 a.m. Yeah, sleep. I know. But you, <laughs> know, you can't sleep in. we got to create a schedule. How's the good news? What? Ready? Oh, Michael John. Let's see. Oh, oh that yeah. looks great. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I have the labels out. Oh, you fixed Bam. it. You're the man. Um, when we started this vlog this morning, we did not realize, like literally, oh, we, yes, down. yes, but when we started the vlog this morning, I was taking Ryan to school and we're like, you know, we should probably share about how coronavirus, um, how, you know, we had to cancel our cruise. They canceled our cruise. And we're like, let's just sort of talk a little bit about like how it's been affecting us. I had no idea throughout the day that all these things were going to happen. Should we go grocery shopping right now? Yes, we should actually. <laughs> yeah. Although yes, we gone. should. Will you go with me now? Do you want to? Yeah. Let's go shopping. Yes, we have to. Okay. Oh, it's much cleaner and it's much more nice. All right, you guys, we're crisis shopping. Crisis we had we hadn't crisis we haven't crisis shopped at all. We've been oh, actually no, like no, I don't so know. We're getting coronas. And <laughs> right. Let's go. <laughs> so we'll see what they have in here. I'm not sure they'll have anything, but we'll get a little bit. I will say Hopefully it's Thursday hours. afternoon and the parking lot is never like this. It's crazy here right now. Crazy busy. Let's go. So I think everybody and got the. I organized my car. So we can fill it. I organized my car. And I cleaned my whole car. I took all the crap out of it in the trash. So if the world ends, I'm going to be very upset. Because <laughs> you just cleaned your car. I just cleaned my car. <laughs> At least. All right, you guys. Well, this is where the toilet paper, paper towels, and napkins normally are. And they're normally way up to here and stacked really high. But I guess there's none left. I'm not quite sure why people, there's a run on toilet paper. But there is. So I guess we'll have to ration our toilet paper at home. <laughs> oh my. All right, you guys, that was like a race. I filled my cart with stuff that I don't normally buy because stuff I normally buy is not here. Do you have enough groceries? We, we better be locked in our house for weeks. That's Do you have all. enough groceries here? We did all of this for nothing. I'm gonna be fucked. Bring it on, bring it on. Her. Grocery store's a madhouse. shopping today mom I finally succumbed to it and this is only this is even half of it probably I've already put a, all the refrigerator and freezer stuff away story? Oh, okay what's your story how'd you find so out so we're chilling in uh, the computer lab because we went there for digital palette 
And oh right, y'all were still in school. Uh huh. Yeah. So we were we were chilling there, and then um, our art teacher, digital palette teacher, pulls out her phone and starts watching the live stream. She was like, "Oh, Governor Larry Hogan's like he's gonna say if they're shutting down schools or not." And uh, we were all hoping, and we were all wishing, and we get out at like 4:05, and it was four, and um. And he was supposed to, he was supposed to come out at four and like say what was gonna happen, and then uh, he didn't uh, say it within that time frame. So we went back on the bus and we tried to get the live stream, but we couldn't for some reason. <gasps> but another kid did, um, and then we're just chilling on our phones and we're talking about it, like, oh, what if that actually happened? We we really didn't think they were gonna. And then Charlie gets a text from Christian saying that we got two weeks off. We're like, what? <laughs> what? And then, um, but they're taking away our spring break, so we don't oh. have the Thursday, Friday, Monday. That's oh, fine. well, I'm let's go on spring break um, before then, then. Oh, did you get the... All right, we'll figure out what's going to happen. This is all move, you guys. This is moving so quickly. Like, yeah. I, every 15 minutes, something new is happening. I think it's Ben's going to Florida. Yeah, okay. sounds so. good. My name is... Are you recording? I am. My name is Brennan Donnelly, <laughs> and I'm juggling hundred times today. <laughs> hey, whoops. That was pretty good. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, two at a time. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm recording. No! That's what it is, yeah, you gotta keep it nice in like a circle or something. Something. You know, your uncle Mike can juggle on a unicycle. Did you know that? Yes. I don't mean to threaten you or to uh, intimidate you. Okay. Oh! Wow! That was really good! Brennan! Nux. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Those are the ones you're going to eat. They're going to have your name on them because so you can. You know. That was excellent, Brian. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to go to bed because it's really late, and I have school tomorrow. But our last day of school for a while, kind of happy, kind of sad because I'm happy because we get two weeks of school off. But um, for the virus to go this bad, where we have to take these kind of precautions, is kind of crazy. Anyway. Um, Uh, it being Thursday, uh, I don't know, I just loved Thursdays, um, and coming over from school and getting the news, and then chilling with the homies. We played a lot of, uh, we played soccer and kickball, and I've been playing a lot of soccer recently, because our friend Nate's hand, he can't do anything with his hand, so we can't play football or, like, tag or anything, but we can't play tag. Anyway, uh, but we've mainly been playing soccer, and, uh, we're all kind of into soccer now, so yeah. Anyway, come along with me. You guys have a day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.